Peter Cohen is an Emmy-nominated actor with a career spanning almost 50 years. He was born in Canada on July 28, 1941. He attended and graduated college and the National Theatre School of Canada. In 1967, he was part of the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour and many other TV shows over the next decade. And Peter Cohen... Since 1979, he has worked on many memorable animated series like Scooby-Doo, Spider-Man, Pac-Man, G.I. Joe, GoBots, Alvin and the Chipmunks, Dungeons and Dragons, Rainbow Bright, My Little Pony, Ghostbusters, Rambo, DuckTales, Brave Star, and Dino Riders, just to name a few, and has voiced many beloved characters. Decepticons! We'd better notify Prime! Uh, no offense, Gadget Lover, but you sure you finished? Don't want to ruin everyone's good time. He has provided the creature voices for such characters as King Kong, Gremlins, The Predator, and other unforgettable characters such as Car from Knight Rider. I am warning you, change cars at once. He is one of only a handful of voiceover artists that has been both cartoon voice actor and movie trailer announcer. The only thing that really matters in space the way home. This summer, evil has a new enemy. And now, world champion female bodybuilder Vera De Milo explodes upon the screen as Vera Costa, mistress of destruction. One particular role cemented his voice in the hearts and minds of children of all ages. In the early 80s, he auditioned for the leader of a group of heroic alien robots. The character's name was Optimus Prime. He based the voice on John Wayne and his own brother, veteran Marine Corps Captain Larry Cullen. And I just pulled from people in my life that uh, had a great influence on me. Transform and roll out! And luckily for all of us, he booked the job. Larry Cullen sadly passed away in 2011. An episode of Transformers Prime was dedicated to his memory. Peter Cullen voiced Optimus Prime for two years in 61 episodes. And in one of the most surprising moments in cartoon history, his character died in the 1986 Transformers animated movie. Do not grieve. Soon, I shall be one with the Matrix. In the third season, Optimus returned for one episode and at the end of the season to save the universe once more. But the series ended after only three episodes in season four. The show was re-released as Generation 2 in the early 90s. In all that time, little did Peter Cullen know that the character had become a hero, inspiration, role model, and even a father figure to fans everywhere. At conventions around the globe, he learned just how much he meant to his fans. Peter Cullen. And when a live-action movie was announced in June of 2003, fans rallied behind him to bring the iconic character back to life. The film was a box office success, spawning an onslaught of sequels, shows, and games. Peter would reprise his role as the Autobot leader in Revenge of the Fallen, Dark of the Moon, Age of Extinction, Transformers Prime, Beast Hunters, Rescue Bots, Universal Studios' Transformers The Ride 3D, War for Cybertron, Fall of Cybertron, over a dozen other games, and will return again in Transformers Robots in Disguise coming soon. The Humble Man. This is Optimus Prime. I'm ordering you to have fun. Let the fun roll. Roll the fun out. Let's have a rollout. <laughs> who always wanted to be a cowboy has become a permanent part of our pop culture and television and movie history. He was nominated for a long overdue Emmy Award in 2011 and another in 2014. That same year, Peter Cullen finally received one honor he's long since deserved, the Hollywood Walk of Fame. To have your hand set in cement in front of Grauman's Chinese Theater is an experience that uh, I could never have imagined. Father, actor, hero, and legend. He even inspired this guy as a five-year-old boy to pursue this career, become a full-time professional voice actor, and the epic movie voice of Honest Trailers. So on behalf of myself, my family, and millions of fans around the world, thank you, Peter. Autobots transform and roll out till all are one.
And now, SAC Anime 2015 is proud to present your host, Chris Gore, and our featured guest, Peter Cullen.